The shape generator lets you randomly generate lots of extruded shapes of different lengths, sizes and complexity by tweaking just a few parameters to produce a range of effects. I'll be taking you through some of the basic parameters so you can get started, including how to bevel and smooth the shapes. You can create a new generated shape via the standard Blender Add menu, which you can access by pressing Shift A whilst in the viewport. In the menu that appears, go to the Mesh Shape Generator option. A temporary pop-up menu will appear that allows you to access the parameters, which you can also change later if you select the object and go to the Shape Generator side panel by pressing the N key to bring up all the various property panels in Blender. Go to the Shape Generator tab. Now let's go through some of the basic settings in greater detail. Here the Shape Generator has created a random extruded shape. On the side panel expand the Extrusions subsection and reduce the Amount parameter to zero. Also disable mirroring for now by unchecking the Mirror X checkbox in the Mirror section. We'll take a closer look at how the add-on works. The add-on starts with a basic cube randomly scaled in different directions by the parameters in the extrusion section. Increase the amount parameter slightly from 0 to 1. The add-on has now added one face extrusion to the distorted box sized within the bounds of the minimum and maximum values of the extrude length parameters. Expand the Master Seed subsection and change the Master Seed value. You'll see the extrusion slightly change, yet still within the bounds of the min and max extrusion length values. There are also other parameters you can tweak that change the nature of the extrusion. For instance, we can change the taper settings to vary how much the end of the face extrusions are scaled by and the rotation parameters to adjust the direction of the extrusion. Now, if we gradually increase the amount of extrusions we have, the add-on starts to randomly add extra extrusions varied by the minimum and maximum extrusion parameters we have set. All this results in the generation of a random shape. Check the Mirror X setting back on if you wish to maintain symmetry. You can also decide whether you wish to keep faces from overlapping by checking the Prevent Face Overlaps checkbox under the Overlapping Faces section. Another option to consider is the Favour options towards the end of the extrusion settings. This controls how likely a face is to be randomly extruded based on its direction. Lower relative values in the Z direction, for instance, will mean that faces are less likely to be extruded if they are in the Z direction. This is useful for creating flatter shapes, which you can control even more using the scale settings in the transformation section. There are also some beveling and subdivision options if you wish to create a smoother result for the shape. By going to the bevel section and checking the bevel edges box, this will automatically add a bevel modifier to the shape to smooth out the side edges. You can also optionally enable the parameters in the subdivision section if you wish to create a smoother, more organic shape. The subdivide edges parameter can also control the subdivisions between the edges whilst maintaining the shape. There are lots of other options and I encourage you to have a play and do let me know if you have an idea for a new feature. All the parameters are detailed in the documentation and videos available either at Blender Market or Gumroad, links for which are in the description. I hope you find the shape generator useful and thanks for listening.